morning on a beautiful day, 83, big wave training. We've got a big week ahead of us. It looks like there's a solid, solid swell going to Oahu now. Jaws looks like it's going to be really windy, so I think I'm going to go try and surf this outer reef left, which is much more my language because I'm goofy, and I never freaking get to go left unless I just want to risk my entire life and well-being more than what big wave surfing actually is. Today we've got to ship some stuff. I just filmed a video, and I strapped my phone to this skateboard that was on a C-stand. So if you want to know how creative I can get, I guess. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna go to the beach, go surf though. I just got gas. Isn't that special? Only 85 bucks. You know it's bad when you're like stoked that diesel's six dollars a gallon. The waves look okay, nothing too crazy. Super offshore though, and hopefully that lays down a little bit. Oftentimes when the waves are this small, the offshores don't do much good for the waves because they're already not very powerful when they're coming in because they're coming from so far away. I'm gonna be riding that new board again. Oh, did I forget a towel again? There's no way, I know I brought one. I literally grabbed a towel and I don't know where it is. Well, that really sucks. Blanket it is again. Let's see on the other side. That was actually really fun. Good session. I was kind of by myself for a minute. Then these guys where I was sitting, everyone like came over to where I was sitting because the waves are fun. Even though it was kind of like the same anyway, I just went to where they were and then it was the same. Something that happens quite a bit. <laughs> it's always better down the beach, isn't it? I have to go drop this package off, the UPS. It is a sign that I made with my engineering business for a client on the East Coast for a convention. Then I'm going to go edit yesterday's video, probably eat a breakfast burrito, and then I gotta film some really cool stuff later that I gotta keep secret, but maybe I'll drop some hints. Surf pole's looking good. That place was always so sketchy growing up. <laughs> I just got lunch with my mom at Beach Break, one of the classic OG Oceanside restaurants. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the week. I thought I was gonna go to Hawaii. I don't know if I'm going to because it's so expensive. I might just go to Northern California and hope for the best. I think it's gonna be big and really good. And I would love to be able to do the Hawaii thing and I 100% would do it if I had the extra money, but I don't. So kind of up in the air for that. Let's go back to San Clemente. <laughs> How nuts is this? Oh my gosh. Rest of the day, I've just been spinning and running around. It's been kind of annoying. I just like been stressing about how I'm gonna make enough cash to go to Nazare, stressing about this trip that's coming up. My mom's going like a zillion miles an hour. So I just dropped everything and came on this run. And I'm really glad I did. I mean, are you kidding me? Part of me wishes I had gone surfing, but I'm just glad that I did this. Two miles, three rounds, like the push-up, dip, uh, leg raise, pull-up, I don't know if I said that already, thing. I'm stressed pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a lot better now, and I know I'll figure it out. If you got any ideas, let me know. <laughs> I have a few, but we'll, we'll see. I'm a little lost. Okay, I appreciate I did four sets, and now I get to jog back with this. little evening swimming unreal I feel a lot better I'm excited I got a few ideas I might go buy a plane ticket to Nazareth tonight that way I'm not tempted to go to Hawaii anymore relax a bit finally shoot some stuff that I need to tomorrow because I have my voice back hopefully should be solid probably go get Chipotle <laughs>